morning guys what's up got out fairly early this morning uh minnesota bass fishing here going to a small little lake you can pretty much see almost the whole lake my motor's got a little bit of a boo-boo on it so i don't really want to use it much so it's going to be mostly trolling motor so we just dumped in the ramp right over here idled out 100 yards uh water temps are in the upper 50s already this morning so i think the fish are going to be on the verge of spawning so we're going to Probably pick up some moving baits, cover some water early, and then as the sun pops up, start peeking around a little bit. So, hoping to catch a few bigs. I expect the fishing to be okay, decent today. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. There's a front coming in later today, but there's kind of an east wind, so don't really know what to think. But either way, we're out fishing, and that's awesome. Starting out with the old chatter bug this morning, kind of trying what worked last week where we left off. Water's definitely got a little bit of color, a little darker than I expected here. There's a fish, little guy. First bass of the morning, he's not very big, but he absolutely choked that chatterbait. I mean, just look at that. He just he smoked it. <laughs> so hopefully that's a sign of the activity. And as we get closer to these fish, they're going to eat. There's a fish. Another one. <sighs> A little better fish this time. There we go. Get in the right direction here. There we go. A little, a little chunka. Still eating that bladed jig with that little arsenal minnow on it and a bluegill. Not bad. Let's keep going. A little guy. Number three on the chatterbug. Just a little buck. Still looking for the females. Mm, just a little healthy little bass. All right, quick little update. We're about 45, maybe an hour into fishing here. Kind of started on some shallow grass and little pads that are kind of coming up in like two to three feet of water. Caught three, three keepers, nothing real special. I'm about to swing out on a little bit deeper point, take the grass out and just see if there's fish hanging a little deeper. I opted to start on the windier side of the lake thinking in the morning, uh, as things are warming up, uh, that might help me find some fish with a reaction bait. And thinking as I get to the calm side, things warm up a little bit today. If they are bed fishing, that might be better to be on the calm side later since I'm on the trolling motor only mostly today. Just kind of working my way around in that progression on this little lake. So uh, water temps appear to be bumping between 58 and 60. Uh, well, the air temps are 52. So the water temp probably is right about 60. So those fish should be thinking about spawning. I uh, just haven't quite exactly figured out what they want or where they are, but I think we're going to run into them today, so stay tuned. There's a fish <sighs> way up shallow under that tree. Maybe they are a little shallower than I thought. Not a big one, but he choked it and he was up real shallower. Maybe we need to explore a little shallower. That fish came right up there and probably like less than a foot under that tree up there. There's a fish. There we go. Feels a little better. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. There we go. Finally, a good one.
and he she choked it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that little meat pie. Beauty. Big old head, not real fat. Choked it. Let me just get a quick weight on that one. Three seventy three six point eight. First quality bite, almost four pounder. You can probably in or she, he, we're probably in a foot or two of water. Bladed jig. So that was our fifth fish and finally our first good one. So we're probably gonna stick with that a little bit. Um, let's see if we can't get a couple more. Got another arsenal minnow, tactical minnow, trim. Just a little piece off the head. Where it lines up. Head on there. Looking good. Nice little small tail. Just enough action. Doesn't really slow the wiggle of the bladed jig down. Add a little bit of chartreuse on the tail and be ready to go. Right, fish. Little guy, just a little guy, but they're choking it. Little guy, but they're choking it. So with this chatterbait, I've been covering kind of the shallow, the pads, the outside edge, just kind of going anywhere from one to three feet. I uh, haven't really dialed into exactly where the fish are, but as you can see, the water's got a little color to it. So can't really tell if they're for sure spawning or if they're just staging almost ready to go. So at this point, they're still eating this chatterbait really well. Most of the fish I'm catching are just choking it. So that tells me I'm doing something that's decent or the right thing. So I'm gonna stick with it until I can pinpoint exactly what they're doing. Uh, if I think I can slow down and pick them apart and do something even better, I will. But at this point, we're gonna stick with the chatterbait. Ooh, all right. There's a little guy. It's a bass, not a bad one. A little chunker. There's a the fish. Right off that old boat ramp in the grass there. Not a giant, but another quality fish. Catch a lot of males. We gotta figure out how to consistently get some female bites here. Sometimes when you can't see and you're close to the spawn, you're catching males, you wanna keep casting back to see if that female's also there. It's just hard to tell. That one just choked it and came right at me. Another one that just, <laughs> he ate it so good the tail was coming out his gill plate. I mean, just. Good one. Ah. Nice fish. 
look at that. Another nice one. Ooh. Nice. Look at that. That was a weird deal. Look at that hog. I threw in there three or four times with that Nico rig. Didn't get a bite. Threw this bladed jig in there. <laughs> Boom, smoked it. Just like two cranks, bang. Like, so I feel like that's more reinforcement that we are doing the right deal. Like, so I don't think they're locked on. I think they are definitely still getting close. Not quite there yet. She's filling out. All right. 4.1. Second good one of the day. So our two best fish go just under eight pounds right now. Look at that big old head. Nice, beautiful bass. Look at that. Oh. Just awesome. Let's get her back in the water. Nice. All right, let's go. There's a fish. Oh. Missed him on the swim bait, caught him on the Nico. That's probably why we didn't hook him because he wasn't that big. First Neko fish of the year. There's a big one, big fish. Oh yeah, good one. Not real big, but God, he felt big. A little better than the other ones. Oh, man, I thought that was a big one the way you ate it. Man. Not great. I mean, geez, <laughs> the way he loaded up, he felt big. I got fooled. If I would have lost that one, I would have told you it was four pounds. Fish, not a big one. Got him right out of that boat lift. That's a key, you just saw, making accurate casts will get you more fish in your boat. That fish came way up under there on this bladed jig. All right, quick time check. We're about three and a half hours into this fishing day. We've caught probably a dozen or more fish. Some of them have been real small. Probably won't see those on the video. Two really good ones and uh, a bunch of one to two pounders and, and several dinks. Everything except for one fish on the bladed jig with a Arsenal tactical minnow on the back of that. Um, one small keeper on a Nico rig that bit my Dream Smasher bluegill swim bait a couple times and I threw back in there with the Nico rig. So I'm gonna think mainly check the chatter bait, keep them honest with a few other baits and definitely try that swim bait a little more because it'd be fun to catch one on that. But uh, we got a couple hours to go here probably before it rains, uh, before lunchtime. Hopefully we can get two or three more bigs uh, to round out a nice five fish limit that we can we can talk about at the end. But uh, so far so good. Been pretty steady action, better than the opener. Uh, I've caught two good fish and only caught one last weekend. So, so far not pissed and uh, hoping to make it really good. Fish. Choked it. God, you get her on that grass, the fish get a little bigger and they eat it a whole lot better. <laughs> There's definitely been a key is getting around that little clumpy grass that you really can't see, but look at that. He's got like a bull head right down his throat. I don't know if you can see that. Just so you can kind of see, this is the, the, the shallow grass that's growing in like one, two, three, four, five feet of water. And this is where a lot of the better fish are coming out in this, this grass that's coming in. Yoked it. I don't know what it is, but they're eating it. Another tub. 
Man. That is pre-spawn still. Looks like like 328, 3.2, 3.26. 11 pounds for our best three. Fish feels pretty good. Not a giant. We didn't even lift up the poles yet. Caught another one. Decent little fish. Just mowing them down on that bladed jig. Just like that. Bladed jig. Bass. Munching it all day. Chunker. Decent fish, one of the better ones today. Still eating it. They ate the skirt <laughs> off this thing, so I went with just a straight gambler easy swim bait on this thing now. Just a straight swim bait. pretty fun day actually caught a lot of fish a lot more fish than last weekend I mean it was probably close to 30 or more if you count all the little tiny dinks uh, that probably won't even make it on the video uh, otherwise this thing will just be too long but it was all about the bladed jig today my elite custom <laughs> this is the one I finished today with I'm not sure which one I started I got one bit off but they literally wore the paint off the head they wore the skirt off they chewed it off they chewed up the trailers nothing left um, caught it all, all but two fish. I caught one on a machete worm and one on an eco rig. All the good fish, almost all the fish came on a bladed jig. I tried a bunch of other things today. I tried swim jigs. I tried a bluegill swim bait. I tried a flipping jig, a swimming worm. Uh, I flipped a, uh, a D-bomb, a bunch of other stuff. And really, <laughs> there was even places where I'd flip plastic in and then throw in there with the, the bladed jig and get bit and catch a good one. So definitely probably a few fish spawn and the water wasn't clear enough on this lake where I could see them. The water temps were pushing up against 60, but I feel like the majority of the fish are close, but still pre-spawn based on the way they were eating the bladed jig today. So hope that helps you uh, catch more fish if you're going out this week in uh, Minnesota or Wisconsin or wherever you are. As always, here to help you catch more bass and suck less.